way. <laughs> well, I'm predicting a tiny bit of rain in the forecast. All right. All right. Yeah. Just and a I can, tiny bit? I can tell you exactly where and when right now on my <laughs> Doppler radar. All right, Jackie. <laughs> All right, yes. Uh, we're taking a live look outside. Happy hump day, everybody. We're uh, looking from our Sierra Peak camera. A little bit of haze out there today. Definitely a cooler day in the south end. We will take it. A lot to talk about weather-wise. We do have some changes. And again, we can have a light shower out there right now. I'll show you where in just a moment. First off, let's talk about that coastal flood advisory. We'll continue through 2 p.m. on Friday, and the worst will be in the morning high tides uh, right around 10 30 uh, tomorrow morning, and then 11 30 by Friday morning. Wind advisories in effect through 9 a.m. tomorrow. The winds will strengthen overnight tonight. They will start to shift more out of the north tonight through tomorrow morning. Could gust up to 50 miles an hour. Uh, but let's talk about the wet weather. So we do have this trough of low pressure, brought plenty of wet weather to our north. By the time it reached us, pretty much fizzled out. Saw a few sprinkles here and there early this morning, but uh, right now we are getting a light shower right around Burbank to La Cunada, La, Can La Crescenta, uh, and right along the 210. So we are seeing some light shower activity, but that's about it. But looking at the winds, you can see where those warmer shades are. That's where we've got the strongest wind. In fact, the Lancaster sustained winds now at 26 miles an hour, 31 miles an hour in Oxnard. So it's already picking up, and again, will be even stronger by tonight through tomorrow morning. 80 degrees for the high, so it was cooler out there today, but still above average. 77 is our normal high this time of year. It is very comfortable outside right now with the cloud cover. Uh, just a very comfortable evening here in the south end. 83 in Van Nuys, 74 in Santa Ana, 78 degrees now in Riverside, 73 in Oxnard. So here's a look at what's going on. That northwesterly flow will shift a little more north tonight as that trough of low pressure pressure passes over our area. Then we're talking about another warm up as high pressure builds in by Saturday. So your Halloween trick or treaters, at least it will be dry, but it will be a little bit warm out there during the day. And then as the trough of low pressure passes to our north, we've got another storm and another slight, slight chance of some showers by next week. So let's take a look at your extended forecast. So for tomorrow, we are looking at just a few clouds in the morning hours, but that trough of low pressure is passing and we are are looking at sunshine for the next few days and again getting warmer as we head into Saturday, which is Halloween, uh, even 90 degrees in Linda and the Valleys. Remember daylight savings, so we get the extra hour this weekend, but it will be darker next week, so kind of good, kind of bad. And then, um, <laughs> and then we do have a slight chance of some showers next week. 